this video we are going to learn about fan in and fan out of digital devices okay what is this fan in and what is this fan out fan in means the number of inputs can be given to a logic gate is called as fan in okay the maximum number of gates inputs that can be given to a single logic gate that means how many inputs a single logic gate can accept is considered as fan in usually ttl transistor transistor logic set logic gates will accept either two or one fan in that means it will have maximum only one or two fan in there are cases where there are more inputs but still this is the majority use it for the fan fan in now let us see what is a fan out a fan out means fan out means the number of inputs can be driven by the given output that means suppose this is a logic gate it has some x inputs so, so okay two inputs and suppose it has only one output okay how many inputs this particular output can drive is considered as fan out this fan out depends on the current this particular output has and to the current that is needed to all the inputs suppose the device is logic gate is giving 50 milliamps of current in that 50 milliamps is required by multiple devices so we will consider how much each device wants. Suppose this needs 10 MA and 10 MA and so on. If each device needs 10 milliamps, then yes, this can drive 5 gates. This particular device can drive 5, 5 logic gates for inputs. Inputs, okay. So if there is one more which requires 10 milliamps, yes, now the capacity of this uh, output is drained already by these three these five inputs only so it cannot include one more input so the fan out depends on the current capability of the output and the current requirement of the each input that it is about to drive so if the maximum limit specified by this is increased if it is overloaded then the device will not function properly so because the demanded power or the demanded current is more than what we already have so it will not work efficiently so now we have learned what is a fan in and what a fan out is we learned this because it is important to know as they control the flow in our systems so these are the ones which will control because the input and output that goes from one gate to other will create the flow and this controls the flow. So based on this only we can do our systems or blocks. So that is why it is important to learn them.